putting the rickshaw run adventure as part of, and then using that as a platform to raise funds for Snail there, which is one of the causes we contribute. It's 200 people in 80 rickshaws going from Kesemir to Cochin. And it's a question of if you get to the finishing line, you win. How did you first find out about Snarlia? Oh, um, so I was, so human trafficking is something that I'm, um, that came to me, very long story short, came to me in 2012, <coughs> and was a cause that immediately became something that became very personal to me. And um, as I was looking at, we registered into the rickshaw adventure, um, and I, and we were going to use that as a platform to raise funds for our charities. And I wanted it to be something that I, you know, believed in. And I looked around for things, and then um, as I was looking, I stumbled upon Snare and what we do for. And I think it, um, I was absolutely overwhelmed with what you guys do for the kids and the number of kids and what you do. So I wanted to know some more and learn some more. And I wrote to your team, and they connected with me with Joyce, and it's just been great so far. So I'm looking forward to knowing some more and okay. learning. The age of these kids too. I think um, this is a cause that um, you know could do with more hands and more minds coming together. Um, and I think it will be just a great effort, obviously, to eradicate this once and for all. It's a very, you know, it's not great to see our women and children vulnerable. So when you know a platform like this, I think is really, I think is great. The work that Nick, Joyce, and all of you do. Um, so I think you know being able to just be aware of um, the problem at large and just really coming together to um, try and uh, do our bit would be great. Yeah, we know about Sinhala because of uh, Fiola. Yes. I, was yes. not, uh, I was not aware about it before. And we basically picked three causes that we are supporting. Mm -hmm. One is about the rainforest, the second one is about the ocean, and the third one is about people, which is Sinhala. So that's how we have these three causes. And since we were here and we were in India and passing through, to some extent, we said, okay, since they are here, we must make an opportunity mm -hmm. to come here. Yeah, basically, we, we flew into Jaisalmer, right? We were there for four or five days, and then we got these rickshaws over there, and then we started our journey on the 2nd of January. Every day, we drive about 250 to 300 kilometers. Wherever we reach, where the rickshaw will let us uh, stop, <laughs> Then we spend the night there and the next morning we start again. So people in India that we spoke to along the way, they know about Snehala. Uh, but a lot of people overseas, I'm from Dubai, if you're from New Zealand, some people are following us from Europe and the UK, don't know what Snehala is. And I think through this experience of following us and seeing the name at the back of the rickshaw for the last two weeks, people have been asking us, okay, mm -hmm. what is Snehala, what does it do? Mm -hmm. And I think that awareness is probably a good thing. Uh, to put out there in, on the internet, right? So that's, I think, the biggest thing that we want to achieve mm -hmm. for the next week that we are here. And would you like to convey any message to our society and our common job, Nagarkar, mm -hmm. city? No, just to know that uh, they are noticed and people are aware of the organization and there are many people who want to help. And we've already raised quite a lot of funds and we expect to get quite a lot more, which I think is good. Is it easy to learn to ride a rickshaw? If you ask me, I'll say no. These guys have just absolutely nailed uh, it. Really. <laughs> How long did it take you to learn? I think probably another 10 years. <laughs> no, it's, okay. it's, um, it's nine horsepower. Okay. So you don't go very fast. And definitely there's no compression when you go downhill. And there's no hardly anything when you go uphill. So you have to do, use a lot of technique and a lot of time and patience. It's a question of getting there in one piece and coming into goal the right day. So Crystal wanted to be number one. And he said we're going to go there. We have to fly to Kochi and manage to ship the rickshaw there. We're going to be number one. So I was thinking of souping it up to 250 horsepower a turbo engine, but uh, that didn't work either. Not on these roads. Mm -hmm. So it's a question of survival. Thank you so much for having us. We've had an absolute blast. Um, it, was, it was just our absolute pleasure meeting the kids and the women and all of you and getting to know about Snehalaya and the cause we're actually donating to. 
We've got lots of stories to take back home um, to our families and friends. And thanks for making this such a lovely experience for us. Thank you. Thank you.